Hey everybody, welcome back, Mr. Kiva here. So today I wanted to check out the uh, Tokyo, what was it? Ghostwire Tokyo trailer that was debuted at the uh, PlayStation Showcase earlier to this uh, year at uh, September 9th. So yeah, um, really interested on Ghostwire Tokyo, like a weird like horror game with uh, like a cultish uh with that ogre mask and we are like mad like japanese centric magic but yeah uh we're gonna check it out see what's up with it and let's uh jump into it oh that's creepy oh really creepy oh i'm loving the vibe on this uh, dude, you're, you're disappearing. <laughs> you're disappearing. Oh, you're actually gone. Oh. What is, what is this, mist? What was that? <laughs> it does the finger pointing. Is it a slender man? Ooh. Oh, big guy. Oh, <laughs> that drop kick. Okay, this looks amazing. Oof. Oh man, I love the style. Still your fear. I will be her salvation. Oof, impaled. Ow. The time is nigh. The world rests on the precipice of transformation. Oof. Creepy. Oh, okay. That was <laughs> oh my god, what's up with that? A new age will dawn. That was huge. Ghostwire Tokyo. Coming spring of 2022. Oh man, I cannot wait. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that trailer looked amazing. And it seems to be a little bit more. Oh, okay, that's it. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, that was amazing. I really enjoyed that trailer. Um, hopefully, there's a couple of like over like Japanese uh folklore yokai that I did recognize, like uh. Where are you? You. You remind me of a specific like Japanese folklore of or yokai of a woman uh, wearing a, like a sundress and a sun hat in all white uh, with like long black hair. If you guys know what I'm talking about, like comment down below. I, I just can't, I can't remember what it is. But yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> Let's check out the comments then. In Ghostwire Toko, you get to kill Slenderman. Yeah, I noticed that. There's a lot of Slenderman. Slenderman uh, inspired monster at the beginning. This game would either be too cool or too lame, I feel. I'm leaning to <laughs> too cool. <laughs> oh man, it, I love the style. I love the uh, the finger pointing aesthetic of the like style of the uh, attacks and everything. Um, I'm super curious how that's gonna work out because I didn't see like a UI or anything. So we'll see. Can't wait. This game looks awesome. Bring it on. I also can't... I'm also waiting. For for that cake game too. Oh yeah, the Japanese creators always on point with the aesthetics and creativity. Always. Shinji Mikamura's... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Nikamura. Shinji Mikami's new game is gonna be unforgettable experience as always. Can't wait. Shinji Mikami. If you guys remember Shinji Mikami, she was that uh, hilarious developer who showed off her game at the uh, at E3. Oh, not you. What was that? Okay, so you're the producer. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, okay. So you're the producer. Who's the other? Oh, okay. So her name was Ikumi. Okay. And Ikumi. Oh, okay. She was a former creative director and concept artist for Ghostwire Tokyo. Okay. Curious why she left. Uh, creative director Ikumi leaves studio Tango Gameworks. Okay. She was a creative director, but why did she leave? Here is one of the ends of the journeys I learned from talented people and I've worked with and I respect. Oh, okay. So I guess she just did her part and I guess assumed it was time for her to move on to uh, greener pastures. But yeah, that was Ghostwire Tokyo. Really interesting game. Um, I am super looking forward to it. 
Um, really interested in seeing how this game turns out. Um, and yeah, we shall see. Maybe I can uh, play it on stream. If we play it on stream, you can catch me at uh, twitch.tv slash Mr. Kiva with two eyes. All right, so if you guys like what you saw, give it a like and a subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. All right, peace.